Within the sector packs, we have a fully integrated vessel analysis tool. And with this tool, you can really efficiently measure the degree of stenosis, the diameter and the length of the vessel. I will now show you how it works. To open the vessel analysis tool, you just press right click and vessel analysis. As you can see here, we have a really clean interface. We don't want to have a lot of information that makes the application complicated. To create the center line through the vessel, you just press on the interested vessel one time and then you press double click. The computer is then calculating a center line through the vessel. It's also computing the cross-sectional view along the center line. You see you will also have the diameter of the vessel automatically created. If you don't agree with the computer you can change the diameter by just dragging on the bars here. If you put your cross-sectional markers over the area where they have normal lumen above the stenosis, if you put the yellow one where you have the largest stenosis and the orange one where you, where, where you have normal lumen below the stenosis, you will have automatically the degree of stenosis calculated. You can see it here. Okay, so how do I save this? You have different choices. If I right click, you can see here, you can save rotational stack, you can save screenshot, but you can also save something that is called a bookmark. If I press here, now I'm saving the, all the settings that I have done. So if I right click and just close this application, open it again, open my bookmark, it will automatically open where you left off. If I want to measure the other side, I can do that by press one marker here and I need to add one more marker since this vessel is really, the contrast is really low here, it's almost occluded. So even though it's really, really thin line with contrast, the software has no problem to find the center line. Since it is a really thin line, you need to support the, the software with finding the right di diameter of the vessel. Okay, this was a really short overview over the vessel analysis application. Thank you for listening.